So hey everybody, here we are. It's a Saturday, got a job to do. It's actually only about an acre and a half, but it's at a commercial facility and they do transport. So they are closed today. Uh, I'm thankful that the operations manager really come in on the weekend. And I have the 4707 bumper pull on a 24 foot trailer on the, uh, the new F450 and uh, that's working quite well. Certainly quite a difference from pulling on my F-250. Uh, the squat on it's obviously not nearly as bad and uh, doesn't get pulled around quite so bad. So uh, what we have over here, let's see, I'm gonna flip you guys around so you can see the, the area to be cut. So it's that field there in between the trees up to the houses along the tree line and back over there, supposedly free of debris. Uh, we drove it a little bit in his truck there was only one little pile of something over there on, the, on that side that I saw, that he saw. But uh, yeah, I was originally going to try this with a zero turn, but I think it's going to end up being, it would have been too much. So I figured if I have to drive down here anyway, and I've got the trailer, I might as well bring the tractor. So I know I can get it done and not have to potentially go back and get the tractor uh, and make a second trip since this is down in Tampa. And I usually don't work in Tampa. So um, let's get after it. Okay, so just finished and I'm loaded back on the tr on the trailer and it is now three o'clock. So I started at 11.30, started mowing at 11.30 and back on the trailer at three. Uh, this job had some real unforeseen hazards, but if I do it again, I'll know. There's a giant, uh, like it's like a railroad tie, but like 15 feet long. And there, there's a steel beam Back over there, there's steel piping, that, like uh, fence piping that someone chucked over the fence. And there's some kind of drop off there, which is why I didn't cut super close to that fence because you can see, uh, maybe you can see, but the houses are lower than the field. So I don't know if this was brought up, but it looks like there's some kind of drop off there. And I was just, uh, if I got my front tire off down into that, you know, or fell off that, then I would never be able to get back up. There was a low spot over there, which you can't see, but there is a nice drop down there. And then, uh, just uh, you know, trying to go in and out between the trailers. Next time they'll move the trailers out and I'll just be able to cut up and down here for them. Uh, they didn't get to it this time. Then I just looked around and see uh, to see if there was anything else I could cut that, that was uh, open, not, not full of debris. This place ended up having more rock and pressure treated wood than you would expect, but got the job done. Uh, priced it at $1,000. So uh, good afternoon uh, job. Uh, it was thick, it had to be double cut and triple cut in some places. So it took a little bit longer uh, for the size, but uh, all in all, good day and uh, some reasonable money.